Hey guys, so I got an awesome set review uh, today, and it is the Sniper Unit set, Call of Duty Mega Buck Sniper Unit. Set number 06854, ages 10 and up, and 136 pieces for $14.99. Get five awesome figures, and a pretty cool little structure, especially for snipers. I really like it. One of those barriers that uh, you get with some of the Halo sets, or used to, and a black and orange care package. So here's the packaging, and it looks like it was taken like on top of a building. Uh, from what I can tell in the background. It looks very awesome. I really like this package of design. And uh, the back here, you get a bunch of accessories. The new snipers are very awesome. It also came in the ghillie suit uh, set. Uh, but there's three of them in this set. Some awesome little pictures. Big fan of this set. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here's the little barrier. Uh, it is included in some of the other Halo sets, but I believe it's in this, uh, a different color this time. And that's really nice. It's just uh, 10 pieces. Uh, so, not even 10 pieces. But here's the barrier. Uh, it's not much, but it's nice for snipers. Uh, you can't really put your figures anywhere on here. You gotta stand them up on uh, just ground or something. Uh, they give you a little space for just about one figure. That's about it. Uh, we get two sandbags. And uh, it's pretty cool. They have these little holes right here so that they can stick the sniper through there. So that's about it uh, for that. So here are the, some of the accessories that you do get. You get that little camera thing or whatever it is. Shovel, binoculars, little pouch, ammo clip, water can, and a walkie-talkie. And those are the care package pieces. Alright, so here is our first figure. And I believe it's using the same head mold as Captain Price from the Heavy Armor Outpost. Or at least just that hat. Uh, he's got some weathering effect on him. And a little knife. Pretty cool. I like this guy as a sniper. He fits pretty well for it. I give him a flashlight on the back. And yeah. Here's our next figure and he's just using that classic mercenary helmet. I call it a mercenary helmet just because uh, the Black Ops 2 mercenary team, uh, the submachine gunners, have that helmet. It's that face mask. And I give him a pistol in his, on, on, on his, uh, in his peg hole. So that is him. He does have brown or black? I think that's black. Black boots. I like when they do that and they make these uh, shoes and legs different colors. Alright, so here's the next figure. And he's uh, just using that same face mold that we get with a lot of the sets and uh, with the hat. So yeah, that is him. Pretty cool. Alright, so here's our next figure. And he's using that Navy SEAL head mold. I call it a Navy SEAL head mold because the assault riflemen in uh, Black Ops 2 on the SEAL team wear that helmet. So, pretty cool. I gave him a little flashbang or concussion on the vest. And yeah, that's him. And lastly, we got a new head sculpt here. And uh, he's got these black marks on his face. Those are very common in the military is what I've been told. Uh, but very awesome figure here. I really like the new face mold. It fits the figure really nice. Or just sculpt. I don't think that's a new mold entirely. Uh, but it's nice we're getting a new sculpt instead of just using like the classic mold. I'm seeing a lot less of those gas mask figures, which I really like, because those were very much overused. And we're getting less and less of those, so that's good. I'm not saying I don't like it, it's just it was overused. Uh, so yeah, that's him. Alright, so here are the weapons. And you get three snipers. Uh, you get one tan one, one black and gray one, which is very nice looking, and another dark grayish light gray one. These two I like a lot. And this one's just pretty plain, but it's still awesome. I love these new snipers. And you do get two bipods, a new revolver, I believe, and one other pistol, but I forgot to put that in here. And a claymore. I just put that out here because one of the figures was holding it. Uh, but you do get a revolver. I think that's a new mold as well. Uh, so very awesome. The weapons are very, very good. Alright, so you saw the sniper unit. I'm a very big fan of it. I love that you get three snipers. I wish you got one more, because uh, it's kind of annoying having one figure, or just two figures holding pistols, but I think it'd be awesome. Uh, it's still awesome, I mean, but three snipers is great. A new face sculpt, and a pretty cool little buildable structure and a barrier. So I'm going to have to give this a solid 10 out of 10, just because I love it so much. Uh, you, you guys are definitely going to want to pick this up. Fans of snipers and Call of Duty, you're going to love this set a lot. Uh, I think the sniper looks like a lot like a Barrett 50 cal, but I don't think it's based off one. It just looks like one. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. 10 out of 10. Stay tuned for more Somerset reviews coming soon. And uh, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.